Kia ora, I'm Sherry Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Health New Zealand's decision to hold board meetings behind closed doors is being labelled as unusual. The centralised health agency is defending the move after questions were raised about transparency. Board Chair Rob Campbell says other Crown entities with similar roles don't hold their meetings in public, but media and the public could previously attend meetings of the now dismantled DHBs. The fake judge who convicted the government of crimes against humanity in a mock trial during a protest at Parliament last week is under review by his employer. Rick Salvi is the non-clinical national manager of Fano Aura Community Clinic. The health provider's director says Salvi has been stood down pending a review of his actions. The review will be undertaken by the clinic's chairwoman and other representatives and a decision is hoped to be reached by the end of this week. A prediction our shipment delays will get worse before they get better. Supply chain tracking platform Project 44's latest data shows delays from China to here jumped 6,764% between the third quarter of 2019 and now. Vice President of Supply Chain Insights Josh Brazel says with peak season approaching, we might not see improvements until next year. He says it will also depend on whether there are more lockdowns in China and the impact of climate change. So we're seeing droughts and factory closures happening right now in China and so that's also reducing output for manufacturing. A new tool to stop people overseas getting a cost of living payment may be easy to fool. Inland Revenue will be checking which country's internet IP addresses are being used to log into MyIR along with other measures. The Auditor General's ruled the rollout requires much greater care after people who hadn't lived in New Zealand for years received it. But Gorilla Technology says there are all sorts of ways to fake an IP address. They say that includes subscription services the government might be smart enough to notice, but it can also be done in a manual, far trickier manner. The second of the three $116 payments will be issued on Thursday. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date throughout the day, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.